Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the different types of beams. So the different types of beams are, I will give the classification, simply supported beam, then cantilever beam, overhanging beam and continuous beam. So basically the types of beams are classified broadly into these four types that is simply supported, cantilever, overhanging and continuous. When it is simply supported beam, the entire length of the beam is supported. I will show with the help of diagram just over here. The entire length of the beam which is capital L is supported at points A and B and then under the action of different loads like W1, W2 and W3, the reactions are offered at A and B respectively. So this is a simply supported beam where the entire length is supported between the two supports, extreme supports. Then cantilever beam, it is the beam which is fixed at one end and free at the other end. The span or the length of the beam is denoted by capital L. Under the action of the forces, the reaction would be offered at this fixed support called as A. The reaction would be a vertical reaction which is RA. Then there will be horizontal reaction. If the horizontal forces are present, we will get the value of horizontal reaction. At the same time, there would be moment reaction at this fixed end. So that is a cantilever beam fixed at one end, free at the other end. Then we have overhanging beam. Wherein L is the entire span or length of this beam and it is supported anywhere in between. It means some portion of the beam would be extended beyond the support. As we can see here, the beam is supported at A and B and I will say that this is the length X1 which is supported whereas length from B to C that is X2 is unsupported or free. So it means in an overhanging beam there would be some portion of the beam which extends beyond the support called as the overhanging part. So when we compare overhanging with simply supported beam, see at simply supported there are supports at the extreme ends whereas in overhanging. The support is somewhere in between and some portion of the beam overhangs. It can overhang either from one side or from both the sides as well. Then at last we have continuous beam. This is similar to a simply supported beam but as we can see here, apart from the end supports, the beam is supported anywhere in the middle as well. So I can say just taking an example that it is half of the length L by 2. Here also it is L by 2. So there are three supports A, B and C. When we compare continuous with simply supported, in simply supported beam the beam is supported only at the ends whereas in continuous beam it is also supported anywhere in between. So that becomes a part of continuous beam and there would be reactions RA, reaction at A, reaction at C, RC and reaction at B. In overhanging there would be RA and RB as indicated here. So in short that was a small video regarding how many types of beams are there which would be used in case of engineering mechanics. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.